Welcome back everybody to another episode of Twirl, the series where each week we recap what's been happening in Rocket League from news, esports, goals, fashion and much more. This week we're going to be starting off with our news segment and we've got a new mechanic that was discovered by Redditor Endless Cookies. It involves backflipping immediately after a flip reset, leading to an interesting powerful upward shot. While many new mechanics are named after the people that discovered them, Endless Cookies asked for this one to be named the Bonk, simply because he thought it would be cool to hear the cast as called it that. As with all of today's content, you'll find links in the description, and on Reddit he does provide some advice for hitting that Bonk. It feels like each week we're taking a look at the trade bot RL Swaps. Well, this week Sionix has made changes to their API, and that could possibly be their method of eliminating trade bots. I expect next week we'll have more information to take a look at, and we'll see if trade bots can make their return. If you're on PC with two monitors and two controllers, Redditor Cookies from Grandma showcased how you can set up two full screens while playing split screen, as this is unfortunately not a built-in feature. We had a popular suggestion this week, mentioning how we're missing customization to boost meters. I think it could be a great addition to a new crate, and it would spice up that rare section. Our final piece of news is that we had Dreamhack Montreal this weekend, so if you did miss that and you're looking for some great goals and great team play, be sure to check that out. Moving on to our creation segment, we've got two cool creations by Redditor Efam. The first one is a stylish octane render, which I could imagine would make a great wallpaper. And then for a bit of a goofier creation, we've got his octane ball, and that uh, left both me and Reddit slightly confused. And our second creation is by Apo y 2 k and he showed off his anti-tilt system for when those Rocket League games are feeling a bit rough. Our final creation is by K Topley, and he created a really cool wallpaper based on his Mudcat GXD. He added some detailing to the main wheels, changed up these stickers to be more in line with what you'd see on a rally car today, and ultimately created a super cool wallpaper. On to our goals of the week. We've got one of the greatest goals I've ever seen by Sleepless RL. The flip reset, the musty flick, the boost control, all phenomenal stuff. Next up is a goal by Fate RL, featuring a stylish setup and a very smooth flip reset. Moving on to some ones action by Exo Freestyle, who pulls off an insane wave dash to beat out his opponent. Finishing off with a goal by Nusk RL, starts the shot upside down so that he can scoop it over the defender. We're then going to finish things off with our fashion segment. We've got a super cool starry night theme and the obsidian paint finish is a really nice touch to match up with the texture of that painting. We then have a Sith Lord Mudcat design. Looks great and it's probably the first time I've seen someone pull off the Polaris wheels. In my most recent Fashion Friday, we took a look at 10 designs for video game characters. One of those was Spyro. And just this week, we had another design coming out from Yoso or Yoso's girlfriend with a different take on one of my favorite video game characters. We then have the 200 IQ design by Waffleman456. And you really have to love that combination of the glitter paint finish with the salt shaker topper. Now you might have heard that the Guardian GXT is bugged with its little animated accents not matching up with your secondary color. Well, Redditor RTX19 had a really cool design implementing the current bug. We then have another Mudcat design by Silly Bunduzel, and I really love how the colors look in this one. Finally, one of the free challenges for the Rocket Pass 4 involves playing 10 online matches with the Flower Lotus Topper. Well, Enore came out with a really cool design featuring that topper. Really love the use of the kaleidoscope decal because it's one I haven't managed to pull off in the past. But that is going to be a wrap for this week in Rocket League. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. What do you guys think of that bonk mechanic? Are you going to be able to pull it off? But as always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.